comments, I saw the sign, and of course I immediately got infuriated because I'm thinking in this day and age, you know, we're still having to deal with things like this. A restaurant here in town facing backlash after a photo of a sign in their building began circulating on social media. If we want to be, you know, remembered as a, a group of people, that's not how we want to be remembered. It's a vintage neon sign from the 1920s restaurant called the Coon Chicken Inn, featuring a caricature of an African-American man that Jasmine Abdullah is calling offensive. If you want to put a piece of, you know, American history or African-American history, there are tons of people that you can have hanging up in your, in your restaurant, not something derogatory. Abdullah says she reached out to Cook's Garage multiple times, asking them to take it down. But that wasn't the reaction at all. Cook's Garage declined to comment, but posted a public response to the criticism on Facebook. Basically, what they said was that they did not put the sign up to be derogatory, racist, or to offend anyone, that it was a part of Americana history, just like everything else hung in our collection and buildings. It was a piece of history in the 20s. This is not the 1920s. And if they did their history, before responding, they would know that that restaurant was closed down before for that particular reason, because of the the you know the racial epitaph that basically stood on. We were not able to confirm if the sign was still up, but Abdullah says it's about more than just the sign. People are always trying to say you know racism is dying. It, it's not, and this is just kind of you know a reminder that it's not going anywhere. But the fact that it's not going anywhere means that we can't either. Now, the article states that the Texas restaurant criticized after sign showing blackface caricature. A restaurant in Lubbock, Texas is defending itself after charges of racism for a sign that uses a derogatory term for black people and depicts a blackface caricature. The restaurant, which featured vintage signs, claimed in a now deleted Facebook post that the sign is a part of history. Well, I have to say that I am not surprised by this at all. Um, like I said, I believe what people say and they say this is a part of history. This is a part of America. Like, um, I don't think that we should get overly emotional about it because to be honest, this is a part of America and they're trying to say that it hasn't changed that their feelings hasn't changed no matter what's been said that they feel this way about us and I think you know we should understand that accept that and whatever befalls this nation it befalls this nation because we should not be serving in their armies their militaries we should not be supporting this country in any way since this is the way they feel about us we should try and take as many of our dollars out of this economy we should not serve this country in any way we should not be patronizing their businesses and giving our money to them as much as we can and that's going to have to come from us as far as us linking up together and trying some type of way to help each other that's the only way that can happen but I'm not surprised by this restaurant and what they did I actually expect it I mean this is a situation where you know people try and say oh it's 2017 no this isn't happening that isn't happening it's a lie it's always been there and it's exactly what I said and a lot of people tried to fight me over this even black people tried to fight me when I say it's the same it's just modernized itself no people are not coming from church with a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken sitting there with their backwoods hillbilly family stringing a black person up and putting them in the fire and taking them out so it can prolong the screaming and the horrific moment. It's not that anymore. It's just different. It's dragging you off to slavery to work for corporations. It's having you in a plantation working for peanuts. You can hardly survive. Some people are homeless and they work a job or two. Um, can't make it. So it's, it's just modernized itself. It's just different. That's all. And I expect this. And this is from Shitstain, Texas. I mean, people who patronize this restaurant should be held accountable. And one thing I wanted to show about this sign is it says Coon Chicken Inn. 
And a lot of black people on social media are calling other black people coons because they believe it means another meaning other than the original meaning that these translucent demons gave to it and used it on black people and also the word bed wench. This is why I don't say those two words because I know where it comes from and what it means and people will argue me down saying oh that's not what it means it means this that's a lie because if a translucent person called you the n-word no matter if it was hard er or a you would still try and knock their face into the back of their head because you know where that's coming from and the history behind it so this is an example of why I don't use that language and they say, you know, these are just pieces from the 1920s and they have the Aunt Jemima and the Mammies and all of that. But why would you just focus on that and not focus on great American historians? I tell you why, because this country is still what it has always been since they brought their diseased ass over here and, and wiped out the natives here. That's why. So I'll go ahead and leave it right here. I'll leave the articles in the description box. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next one.